What's happening at R.R. Donnelly & Sons, the world's largest commercial printing company, with a bunch of additional businesses that suddenly been thrust into the spotlight. Roughly a year ago, we learned that the company plans to break itself up into three separate, easy-to-understand entities. What are unlock value? A multi-channel communications management business, a printing business for magazines and catalogs, and then the big one, a financial communications and data services company that will continue to be the most trusted name in preparing financial statements for publicly traded companies. Oh, and R. Donnelly's paying you to wait with the notoriously B.I.G. approximate 6% dividend yield. But, and this is a huge but, three weeks ago, we started hearing chatter about a possible merger with Xerox that could but R. Donnelly's own breakup plans on hold. First, Bloomberg reported that Xerox, which is going through a breakup of its own, may want to acquire the entirety of R. Donnelly. Then a few days later, the Wall Street Journal said that R. Donnelly proposed merging their printing division with Xerox's copier business, but apparently Xerox shot that idea down. Make the story even more confusing, R. Donnelly just reported this morning. And even though the company posted a six-cent earnings beat off a 28-cent basis, higher than expected revenues, stocks still got dinged a bit because their full-year revenue forecast came at the low end of management's previous guidance. But given how much the stock had run in recent months. Anything less than perfection was going to result in a sell-off. That said, management told us the breakup's on track, with the communications business being spun off as LST Communications and the financial business becoming Donnelly Financial Solutions sometime in October. So does it make sense to do some buying into weakness, or as we get closer to either a breakup or potential Xerox merger that may still be in the works? Who knows? Let's check in with Tom Quinlan, the president and CEO of R.R. Donnelly, and soon to be the CEO of LSC Communications. Find out more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Quinlan, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Tom. Have a Z. Thank All right, Tom, let's put it to rest immediately, okay? We, you heard me say it, first a Bloomberg story, then a journal story. Any of it true? Jim, we haven't responded to our rumors in the nine years I've been CEO, and we're not going to start now. But what I will tell you okay. is we are on track for the spins. We got the soft spin that's going on right now that started July 1st. We're paying people appropriately in the right companies. We're going ahead and opening up the store every day, doing cu customers' invoices. Uh, we had a bank meeting today that went really well. We'll be on the road uh, seeing investors uh, over the next couple of weeks. So we're headed for it and looking forward but to it. But the fact is you are your own internal activist. This plan was put in part, uh, put in place because you felt the company was undervalued, not because somebody else knocked on the door and said, you've got to do this. Yeah, the, the, the management team, we felt as if, you know, in order to create value, we needed to break it up. Our financial business, as you talked about, should be trading at a high single-digit multiple. Right. And anything that we did or anything that I did to bring something on that had a higher multiple would automatically come down to the print multiple. R.R. Donnelly, after the spins, it probably would trade at a higher multiple than where we trade out today. And LSC, the company that I'll be involved in, will be trading at a lower multiple, but will be levered at much lower rate than where we are today, too. All right. So. Why did you choose that division to run? Uh, well, we, we, the good part for me over the years is, is we have just an all-star team that's with us. We've been able to set up three right. management teams for, uh, for the company from internal candidates. Our HR committee, led by Mike, Mike Reardon, has done a great job. Dan Knotts, our chief operating officer, is going to run R.R. Donnelly. Dan Lieb is going to run Donnelly Financial Solutions. And I've gone over to LSC. Uh, excited about LSC, excited about the opportunity in office products oh. and with long-run print. Show me some LSC. Well, any of the books, magazines, okay. catalogs we have here, retail <laughs> inserts. There's a nice book by Jim Kramer yeah, that we've that, done. Can you get a little closer <laughs> there? I mean, you actually may have to go over here. Uh, all right, so um, which, uh, well, I presume that all of these, but particularly LSC, might be able to make some acquisitions soon, be able to get some growth? Yeah, all three of them, all three strategies. The good part is the DNA in the three leaders in the right. business are the same. Okay. Uh, there, you're not going to see us go crazy in, uh, one way or the other. We know we have to reward our stakeholders, shareholders included. We know we have to make our payments, and acquisitions will be a part of the strategy for all three companies on a go-forward basis. Have we uh, arrived at any thought about the payouts? Uh, uh, we haven't. Uh, you know, the boards have not been set up officially okay. yet. But, uh, you know, as you think about Donnelly Financial Solutions, growth business, so probably have a small dividend, right. if a dividend at all. Uh -huh. Obviously, LSC will pay a dividend given, mm -hmm. uh, given the nature of its top line growth, and R.R. Donnelly will continue to pay a dividend, just unsure what at this time what it will be. Tom, just reason with me for a second. You've added some great companies, you've delivered this great dividend, and you got some growth. Why did the market never understand? This is the, you know, we're always told that the market's perfect and that everything's discounted, but aren't you a living, breathing example of, of a company that just didn't get what it deserved? Yeah, and then, and then again, I, I take blame for that. I mean, we, we have a billion two in EBITDA, and we, when you've right. got that much uh, in free cash flow of 400 to $500 million a year uh, that we can never crack through the code. And 
The only way we felt as if we could was to unlock it and say, okay, here's three companies, here's where they're going to stand. There'll be focused management on it, there'll be attention to it, be a light capital structure, right investment policies, and we think that will end up winning the day with investors uh, as we're out there. Well, I'm going to speak up for you. I think you're way too humble. I think that this is, you've put together great companies, and it's been confusing to Wall Street, but it's certainly not your fault. If you dive down, we've been making good money by with that yield and uh, by buying the stock when it dipped, and it's been much better than the averages. So Yeah, we you know what we always would say when we're out seeing analysts, who do you compare Walmart to? Yeah. Because you, you, there's no one to compare them to, so who do you compare us to? And that, that was always a tough that was, I mean, I always like to do analogs on the show, and it was always, you're kind of what we would call sui generis. There's nothing else springs up that's like you. Right. That's part of the problem. Yes. No, we, we agree. All right. So next time I see you, the company will be broken up, and we, I will see you, I hope, as chair, chairman CEO of LSC? Correct. All right. Correct. Well, congratulations on all the hard work to be able to bring out the value. And I understand you can't comment on the rumors, but you know how to give it a shot. That's Tom Clinton, the president and CEO of R.R. Donnelly and Sons, but will be the president and CEO, will be the CEO of LSC Communications Correct. next time we see him. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.